As more extreme weather conditions threaten our homes, the Fortified Roof Standard helps builders provide better protection at the roof level. Whether building new or re-roofing, the Fortified Roof Standard provides added uplift resistance, strengthens roof edges, and creates a continuous sealed roof deck, reducing water infiltration by up to 95% during weather events. Let's have a look at the basics. To combat the potential for uplift in high wind, Fortified increases uplift protection by requiring roof sheathing to be a minimum of 7 16 of an inch thick, with 5 8 of an inch being a better selection. Here, fastening is key, with 8D ring shank nails spaced no more than 4 inches apart. Photos of key details like this are taken along the way as part of the documenting process for certification. Often, Roof damage occurs when wind gets under the edge and begins ripping the roof away from the home. To lock down edges, Fortified requires minimum 26 gauge metal drip edge that extends onto the roof deck by at least two inches. It's then fastened with the same 8D ring shank nails specified for the sheathing. In a high wind rated roof covered in shingles, a 12 inch nailing pattern is required. But for a hurricane rating, spacing narrows to every four inches and specifically for asphalt shingles. Edges require either a fully adhered starter strip or a starter course of shingles over eight inches wide of mastic. If wind rips off a roof covering, the sheathing seams are vulnerable to water infiltration. Fortified has four approved methods for sealing a roof deck. Methods include installing two layers of a durable nail down underlayment, applying flashing tape to all sheathing seams and applying a single layer of continuous roofing underlayment, applying spray foam to all of the sheathing seams from underneath the roof deck, or applying a continuous fully adhered membrane over the entire sheathed roof deck. It's worth noting that sheathing with an integrated weather barrier such as Huber's zip system fulfills the taped seams option and is one of the most efficient methods to meet the requirement without the need for additional layers. Depending on the location of the house, you may need a few additional details to meet fortified certification standards. For example, in hail-prone regions, you will need impact-resistant shingles that can withstand hail up to two inches in diameter. For hurricane-prone locations, there's an added requirement for wind and rain-resistant gable end vents and roof vents. Although fortified roof is the foundation of the standard, there are three tiers to this voluntary program that can fortify a home from the roof to the foundation. To get started, there's an online directory at fortifiedhome.org to search for evaluators in your area. The directory also lists roofers and other building professionals trained to work with a Fortified program. Thanks for watching and look out for our Fortified Home webinar, where we get the experts to go deep into the ins and outs of this research-backed construction method.